Say you just film a music video with a couple of cameras. Did you know you can easily switch between that footage in Premiere and edit multiple angles at the same time? Watch this video to learn more about multicam editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, this is Alex from Massive, the fastest and safest way to deliver all your large media files online. Sign up for a free trial with Massive to deliver all your camera footage to set editors anywhere in the world. Okay, let's talk about multicam editing. If you're recording interviews, music videos, events, or even a short film, you will likely have two or more cameras recording the same scene or subject. And when it's time to edit all of this footage, what is the best workflow? It can be tedious to manually sync and edit each individual clip, Fortunately, Premiere Pro's Multicam tool lets you group all your footage from different sources into a single nested Multicam sequence to easily switch between different angles. So let's get into it. I'll show you how to automatically sync multiple clips and how to work with a multi-camera sequence. By the end of this video, you'll be cutting and switching between cameras in just a few clicks. All right, I'm going to use these clips I use in the intro. To create a multi-camera source sequence, select all of the footage, right click, and choose Create Multicamera Source Sequence. In this new window, we can set up our multicam sequence. You can name it after the main video clip or the audio, or choose a completely new name. Next, we need to specify the synchronization point. This determines how Premiere will sync our different cameras. One option is to use in and out points. To do this, you need to mark the in and out points in each of your clips before creating the multicamera sequence. Another option is to use timecode, but this must be set up during recording or you must manually adjust the timecode of your clips. You can also sync your clips by audio. To do this, make sure all your clips have audio recorded and then select which audio will be primarily used for syncing. In the sequence preset menu, you can select the settings for your sequence. If you leave it in automatic, it will take the settings of the main clip, the one that you chose first when selecting all of your footage. In the audio section of the sequence settings, select where your main audio is recorded. In this case, camera one is the main source. You can select all cameras to use the audio from all the clips or switch audio to use the audio from the camera angle you select during editing. This option can also be used when you have individual audio files. In the audio channel preset section, you can change the audio to be mono or stereo if desired. For now, I will leave it on automatic so we can take the settings of the main clip. In camera names, you can choose to display clip or track names, or simply use enumerate to number the cameras. Once you've made your selection, click OK to create your new multi-camera source sequence. And there it is. This sequence acts like any other nested sequence. It contains all of the footage, but acts as a single clip. Double-clicking on the clip will reveal the different camera angles in the source window. You can then add it to any sequence or create a new sequence with it. Simply drag it to the new item icon, this one, the one that looks like a folded piece of paper. I can enter the multi-camera clip by double-clicking on its audio. Just the audio, though. It will not work if it's still attached to the picture. Once inside the multi-camera clip, I can adjust the size, color, or audio manually for each file. Here is my 2K file, so I'm just going to set it up to frame size so we can fill up the rest of the screen. These changes will be saved and updated wherever the multi-camera source clip is used. Okay, back to the main sequence. First of all, we need to change the view so we can see all of the camera angles in the program window. Just go to the little branch and select multi-camera. You can add a quick icon to it in this toolbar, clicking on the plus sign. It's this one, just drag it to the bar. Or use the shortcut Shift-0 to open up this view as well. From the little branch, you can also edit your cameras to reorganize the order and to enable them or disable them. You can click on each little clip from the program window, these little ones. It will change in the bigger preview picture on the right. This one tells us which one is going to be shown. Now let's play it. Just press the spacebar. While playing the clip on the timeline, you can click on any of the camera angles to change the perspective. Premiere will generate cuts on the clip automatically to show when the camera angle changes. You will see them after you pause. You can also press the numbers on your keyboard to change between camera angles while playing. In this case, I can just choose 1, 2, and 3 because I have three camera angles. If you change your mind and want to switch to a different camera angle at a specific point, simply move the playhead to the clip where you want to change the angle. 
it will get checked automatically. Then select the new angle you prefer or press the number of the camera angle you want. From here, you can treat them as simple individual clips and edit as usual. You can use the rolling edit tool to adjust the end and start points of each cut. Just press N on your keyboard or press this icon here in the toolbar. If you want to cut out any dead noises, remember to make a cut on the audio as well. The cuts made to a multicam sequence are only made to the picture. From here, you edit as you normally would. Now I'm going to use the ripple edit tool right here, or you can press V to activate it. This one allows me to trim and snap the clips together at the same time, so there are no black spaces. And of course, if you want to cut out a whole section, select it and just press Option Delete. This will delete the section and snap the clips together. Click the video in the top right to learn more about some key Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts that will speed up your editing. If you prefer to have a little bit more of control, you can also create a multicam sequence manually. Here are some clips I'm going to sync. Let's put them on different tracks. I will select them all, right click and press synchronize. This window will then pop up and ask how I want to sync my files. Let's select audio. Track channel is fine, okay. There, all sync now. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and remove these audios I don't need. Let's select them all again, right click and nest the sequence. Name it whatever you want. Then we're going to right click again on this new nested sequence, select multi-camera and then enable. Now this sequence is going to act as a multi-camera clip. Make sure that this sequence you're using to create the multicam has the right video and audio output settings to assure you're doing the right workflow. Choose appropriately if you have stereo or mono audios. You don't want to have issues later. Editing multicam timelines is simple in Premiere Pro. You can easily switch between camera angles and make cuts with a single keystroke, which I don't know about you, but it makes my life way easier. When you record all your beautiful high-resolution footage on multiple cameras, you have a ton of heavy files to work with. And the best way to get those big files to a computer for editing is to use Massive. Massive is the best way to quickly share your raw camera footage with an editor so they can get to work faster. Massive file transfer tool is built for filmmakers' needs and you can try it out for free. Link is in the description for you to try it out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new today, please help us with that thumbs up and subscribing to the channel so we can keep bringing you more filmmaking tutorials. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions and what do you want to watch in our next video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!